Okay, we found a couple that uh, are pretty pitchable. We're gonna throw it out there, drop it down. You should see my jig falling right there. We're just gonna bring it right over here and put it in these crappies' face. Here's my jig right here. I'm gonna just put it above their face a little bit. Here they come. Got it. Yeah, the first cast, not bad. That's a wonderful, wonderful crop. Oh, it's not bad for my first cast. Jigging it, and we got it on live scope so you can see it. Using the little isom color. That's a little orange and chartreuse. Getting you a dandy crappie. All right, one for one. That's a big 12 and a half, 13 inch crappie. Truck stop chicken. Woo! So good. So good. Hey guys, Crappie Kirby. It is uh, Friday, January 20th, 2023. Been blessed with some incredible weather. Uh, I have about a two and a half hour window where I need to release a little steam, get out on the water, catch a few crappie, get ready for my busy weekend. Tomorrow, I'm actually speaking at the National Fishing Expo, which is coming to Kansas City. Uh, and then we're off to the Chiefs game. Let's go Chiefs. Got my B&M jersey and my Chiefs color because it's Red Friday here. So uh, my show's coming on here in a little bit on the radio. We're going to listen to that out on the lake. Uh, and we're going to jig for crappie. But, you know, Crappie fishing, I always call it a puzzle, right? Well, I got a new piece to add to help you solve the crappy puzzle. And it's this little thing right here. What is this? What is this weird looking little thing? Strange, huh? I'm gonna show you when we get on the water. And this little thing right there is definitely going to change the way you vertical jig for crappie. Here we go. giant school of crap. I was actually looking at my sonar unit, making certain that it wasn't on. Ghost reject. Okie doke. This is insane. Those are all crappy right there. Those are all crappie. One big school of crappie. And it's just the size of a football field. There's my jig going down. We are in crappie town right now. Oh, there, missed him. <laughs> just feel, can feel my line going over their backs. There he is. All you gotta do is just hold it steady on him. Now come on into the boat. Well, obviously, we could catch crappie all day long. 
but just to ice them, jig. Take a look at the school that I'm on right now. Uh, it's insane. I mean, have you ever seen a school of crappie that big? That's crazy. And this is a very deadly technique I'm about to teach you on how to vertical jig for crappie. Uh, we're just catching them one right after the other. You can see how big the school is. And these are all good 12 and 13 inch crappie, but when you've got a school this big, it looks like we're actually on a brush pile, but the brush pile is literally, um, there's a couple big ones right there. Come back and try to get those. But what I want you to do in this scenario is just drop it, let it go straight below you, let it fall. You can kind of see uh, my bait has fallen and it is uh, just below me now. So then what you want to do is just reel up as slow as possible. Right now I'm just reeling straight up and then boom, they hit it every time. They cannot stand something getting away from them. So. If you want to trigger more bites, you don't need minnows. All you need is your favorite pole, which is mine, the B&M Sharpshooter 6, because I'm set up right on top of these uh, fish. If they were a little skittish, you might go to the Diamond Series, the 75th Anniversary Series. It's an eight-foot rod. It'll get it out further. And then, of course, B&M makes them all the way up to 16, 20, 25 feet, depending on the attitudes of the crappie. But today... Man, little six pound gamma, a little crappie magnet. This isn't brain surgery, people. You just get out here, find the schools of crappie, and we've we've drifted off, so we're gonna come back right now into the school. Just about 10 or 15 feet, and you can kind of see right now, boom, we are in the school of fish. And if you look forward, uh yeah. We are in it right now. So just kind of pitch out right in front of the trolling motor. Don't get it, you know, wrapped up in the trolling motor. But just uh, hold it. Let it drop. And a lot of times they'll hit it while it's falling, okay? But that means a crappie has to go down. And crappie don't like to go down. Crappie like to come up, all right? So just let it fall till it's vertically. <laughs> this is so funny. My jig can't fall because the line is over a crappie's back right now. Then something just hit it. But, I mean, you want to have some fun in the wintertime. We've caught them every cast. And it's just stupid. Stupid easy. That seems like a nice one. He came up the bottom. Look at the belly. Look at the belly on that crappie. We could do this all day, but this wasn't really why I came out here to do this. I came out here to show you something. Uh, and it's called the lock and knock. And basically, this is a tool used for vertical jigging when these fish are on structure. I'm hung up again. All right, so here we go. Hung up again. So give it a little slack. Come up here, <clears throat> take your lock and knock, run it through the line, get it on the line like so, and then lock her in. All you gotta do is turn it to lock it in. All right, just give it a little turn like that. That's right, yeah. So it's on the line. And then just get above it. it should be right about here. You kind of see I got it on the line. Boom, boom, boom. Drop it straight down. Give it a little slack at the very end. And up comes your jig. Every time. As long as you don't set that hook you know super duper tight you're gonna get your jigs back with the lock and knock 
the lock and knock. Who wants one? Go to crappiemagnet.com to get yours and save a lot of time from breaking off with jigs. This product could put crappy magnets out of business. Aren't they in the business of selling jigs? I'm telling you, it'll be the best. And you get three in a pack, so. Everybody on the boat can use them if they're all hung up in this heavy brush pile that all these crappie are sticking to. Oh, I'm hung up. Darn it, I'm hung up. Okay, well, good time to show you how the lock and knock works. So take a look. I am hung up. Paul has officially beat my record. So what we do is we throw in motor over to where we are basically above that. Okay, and then we give it a little slack. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. We're right above it right now. And then we simply take the lock and knock. Probably should do this inside the boat. Put it in there, lock it in so it goes up and down the line. And then we're right over it right now. Have it drift it a little bit. Right over it right now. Drop it down. Give it a little slack. And here comes your jig. <laughs> Every time. Every time. How cool is that? The lock and knock. I guess we inadvertently uh, got what we needed to do tonight in a very short time frame. Uh, I didn't even leave till like 2.30. See a beautiful sun going down here on Pomona Lake. I got one more fish to catch uh, in 24 casts, I guess. I caught 22 in a row. But I didn't have my 20 keepers. And that is probably... That's probably a 10-inch keeper. But we're going to go for a little bit bigger one. So we're going to go one more fish. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Fish Eat Live. Make certain that you like and subscribe to the channel. We want to keep this channel going. And we appreciate your comments, man. Tell us what you want to see on Fish Eat Live. And uh, we'll try to do the best. Uh, to take care of our viewers. We sincerely appreciate all you crappy fishermen out there. But uh, we've got uh, Kevin McCarley. We're going to do a show with him in the very near future. We've got a show with Matt Foster coming up here. I'm going to stop on my way down to the Grizzly Jig Festival and do a show with Matt. That's going to be exciting. Uh, and then we've got the TikToks every other week. So hopefully we can catch one more we'll call it a day all right gosh there he is that's the keeper we've been looking for right there he's heavy on the b m sharpshooter six but we can definitely swing him in and that's a dandy folks that's a dandy so uh like i said subscribe to the channel like the channel leave those comments leave those questions come out here and get yourself some kansas crappie before we go i want you to take a look at that sunset if you would that's why we come out here folks right there and that i mean you, you can't put a price on this beauty that only i am experiencing and you guys through the camera of fish eat live right now on beautiful pomona lake hey and with that beautiful sunset in mind reminds me of a beautiful lady barb driscoll kent driscoll's wife uh she's got some medical things going on with her would appreciate those prayers and uh i know that the fishing community will rally behind me to get a whole basket full of prayers sent Barbara Driscoll's way. So thanks everybody. You guys have a great night. God bless. Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.